again YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And this is the third in a three-part series looking at the Morpheus 2 aftermarket video or GPU cooler. Uh, part one, of course, was the unboxing. Part two was the installation and part three is the results video. So this is all about the performance of the Morpheus 2, which I can tell you guys right now is spectacular. Highly recommend it. It's a great product. Uh, so I'm just going to go into an explanation of the test, the different profiles, and then after that we'll get into some, uh, some charts, followed at the end with the, temp the full temperature comparison before and after, as well as the the stock and the extreme uh, preset that I set up for the test. So just to explain to you guys what the two different profiles I used are. The first profile is using the uh, AMD default, the balanced uh, profile. Uh, all I did there was change the uh, fan and I locked it at 48% fan speed. Uh, with both the reference and the Morpheus. So I understand that the fans are bigger and they turn slower uh, on the Morpheus versus the stock blower style fan. But to me, this was the, the best way to compare. So off the top, of course, the noise level much better on the Morpheus because the fans are spinning slower. They're 120 millimeter. Uh, pressure optimized fans as opposed to the, the blower fan but regardless of all that it was a stock profile balanced in uh, Wattman or Adrenaline software pardon me uh, and yeah locked at 48% fan memories at 945 megahertz and uh, I don't, I'm not even sure what the, the GPU is at 15 1550-ish uh, megahertz. So that is what I refer to as stock one or Morpheus one. It's the stock profile, balance profile, pardon me, 48% fan. When I go with number two for the tests, so for example, Heaven Benchmark 2, it is the extreme profile, and that's a custom overclock uh, that I did with an undervolt. So my P7 states are at 1165 millivolts. Uh, it's overclocked to about 1750 megahertz on the GPU and the memory is at 1155 megahertz. Um, fan is locked at 84%. Okay, so that's the two different profiles. I'll put those in the at the end of the video either a picture of my settings or I'll put it in the description uh, I can't remember if I took a picture or not but with those profiles in mind we can now move ahead to the charts so again one is that balanced two is the extreme profile and uh, we'll show you some charts and then I'll explain more the temperature difference at the conclusion of the video and give you a bit more of my insight and my thoughts into the performance and overall impression of this cooler. chance to see the performance which is excellent using the Morpheus 2 uh, and I will say again 
whether you're using the balance profile or the extreme profile that I've put up there, the maglev fans from Corsair, the 120 maglev, uh, they're great. They're really quiet. Even at maximum speed, it compares about 50% the, the noise level of the stock cooler. So whichever profile is very enjoyable to game with as compared to the stock blower cooler. Um, now getting into the temperatures, so for example, Heaven Benchmark, and you'll have to excuse me, I'm reading off some old school paper here that I wrote the results on. Uh, heaven, and this is, uh, pardon me, I had an ambient temperature range of about three degrees variance. So you can add or subtract about three degrees to these results. That would be kind of my margin of error uh, in comparing but I just gave you the results as I got them throughout the testing. But at the end of my testing, the temperatures were about three degrees warmer than when I started testing. So keep that in mind as well, plus or minus three degrees. Heaven benchmark, stock profile, our balance profile stock cooler. I got a temperature of 73 degrees on a GPU and uh, using the Morpheus that was reduced to 49 from 73. The HBM was 74 with the stock cooler and that went down to 52. And the hotspot was 100 degrees and it went down to 76 degrees. So we got about uh, 24 degrees better on the hotspot and uh, 22 degrees on the memory and 24 degrees cooler on the GPU core. Uh, using the extreme profile, the stock cooler in heaven got 72 degrees on the GPU, 53 degrees using the Morpheus cooler, and the memory was 73 using the stock cooler, 55 using the Morpheus, and a hot spot temperature of 106 using the stock cooler extreme profile and that went down to 75 degrees when using the Morpheus 2. So again about 20 degrees cooler on the GPU and about 20 degrees cooler on the memory solid 30 degrees cooler for the hot spot. My hot spots Temperatures are really high, up to 108, uh, and that's as best I can tell because I have an unmolded uh, die. So my memory modules don't have that, uh, not silicone, but that adhesive uh, product between the HBM modules and the GPU, and the, the height can be different as well, which can affect the cooling, apparently. Uh, using for the next two tests here, um, which was superposition, I only got the GPU temperatures, uh, but balance profile stock cooler superposition gave me a maximum temperature of 72 degrees. When using the Morpheus 2, that was lowered to 53 degrees. And using the extreme preset, I got 73 degrees on the stock cooler and 65 degrees on the Morpheus 2. In Firestrike I got temperatures using the balance profile stock cooler of 66 on the, the GPU, 64 for the memory and 90 for the hotspot. Using the Morpheus 2 I got 47, 48 and 75 so about 20 degrees cooler on the GPU, about 20 degrees, a little bit more, uh, a little bit less, pardon me, 16 degrees or so on the memory, and a good 15 degrees cooler for the hotspot. Using Fire Strike with the Extreme preset, I got temperatures of 71, 73, and 101. 101 being the hotspot. Uh, that was lowered to 52, 
50 and 75. So again, 26 degrees on the hot spot, 23 degrees cooler on the memory, and uh, pardon, 19 degrees cooler on the GPU. Uh, when playing or benchmarking Deus Ex Mankind Divided, I got temperatures using the stock cooler balance profile of 75, 76, 103. That was lowered to 58, 55, 89 using the Morpheus 2. When using the extreme preset stock cooler, I got 76, 78, 106. And with the Morpheus 2, I got 51, 50, 75. And uh, just in general gaming, uh, I'm getting, for example, the Witcher 3, which runs the hottest for me of any of my games. Uh, I can play that for a good half hour. And I'm getting about 50 degrees on my GPU, 50 to 55. Uh, Memory is right around the same, and the uh, hotspot goes up to about 72, 73, down from what used to be 104 uh, when gaming. Same game, same place. So overall, really good results using the Morpheus 2. Keep in mind that my fan was locked into a particular range, so even with the extreme, I could increase my fan speed and lower the temperatures even further or I could scale back the clocks and keep the fan the same and I'd get cooler temperatures so what I'm finding with the Morpheus 2 is that it really lets you push your card basically as fast as you want I've never seen another uh, video on YouTube or read that people were running their HBM 2 at 1155 megahertz as far as I can tell I have no issues with that. I could probably go higher. I just haven't done it. Um, so there's that. I'm running, you know, 1750 megahertz is what my, my GPU is set to in the extreme profile. And this is what I use 24 seven now. I don't have any issues with noise. I don't have any issues with heat. And my games are faster and uh, it's been great. The, since the installation video, which was about nine days ago, I did the installation. Uh, none of the heat sinks have fallen off. Nothing's happened uh, to, to mention in terms of negative. So yeah, it's been, it's been absolutely everything I hoped it would be. Uh, it's been a great experience and I would highly recommend the Morpheus 2 to anyone. Uh, looking to cool off their Vega 64 or Vega 56 reference card. Um, so with that, I'm gonna conclude the video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you wanna get more details on uh, undervolting or overclocking your um, Vega 64, I'm gonna put a link up in the corner with a video I did earlier demonstrating that process. So I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button. That really uh, motivates me to continue making, obviously, uh, videos that I find uh, interesting and that you guys find interesting. So the like lets me know I'm going in the right direction. Uh, lots more Vega stuff coming uh, in December and January and beyond. Uh, we're going to get some new drivers from AMD. I'll be exploring the performance with those. I'll be doing some uh, Vega 64 Ultra versus High comparisons in performance uh, at both 1440 and 1080p, I believe. It's probably two different videos, but I'll be testing both. So, thanks again, guys. Hope you like the series, and we'll be back very soon with another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.